Hello and welcome to another video about Tableau certification exams. In this video, you will learn six important tips and tricks that will save your life in the exam. These tips and tricks will be extremely useful for desktop specialist and certified associate exams. So please watch this video carefully. I add a timestamp link into the video description so you can also jump to the point that you want to know. So let's start with the tip number one. You can use Google. Yes, you hear me correctly. During the Tableau certification exams, you can use Google to search for anything that you want to know. So you can use the official Tableau website, help pages, blogs, or any website that you find useful. But sometimes finding something on the internet is not that easy because there are so many pages, right? That's why I want to show you a little trick. If you want to make a Google search on a specific website, you can set the website name in the Google search query by typing site, colon, and the website name. Let's say we are searching for discrete versus continuous on Google. For example, here I have two different search results for the same keywords. In the first result, Google returns pages from different websites. But in the second result page, Google returns the results only from the Tableau help page because I specified the website in the search query. Searching for a keyword can be more than enough, but I just wanted to share this trick because so many people don't aware of this feature. Now let's continue with tip number two. Where is the data? As you may know already, in the exam you need to connect to Excel or CSV files to solve the hands-on questions. Many people become extremely nervous when they are starting the exam and they cannot even find the data folder for minutes. The data folder is on your desktop in the virtual environment. When you go into that folder, you will see other folders with the Tableau exam names. Please select the correct folder. Your folder name is the same as your exam name. Let's continue with tip number three. Name your data sources wisely. This is extremely important. As we mentioned already, you need to connect different Excel or CSV files to solve hands-on questions. And so many times you will use the same data source to answer more than one question. That's why you should name your data sources wisely. You have to be able to find the data source that you need instead of creating the same data source again. This will help you to save a huge amount of time. I suggest using this format, left table plus join type plus right table and then the file name. But you are free to go for any format that works for you. As you may know already, the order of tables affect the result for the left and right join. So I also like to specify the order of tables with the join type in the data source name. Now let's switch to Tableau. For example, here I am on the start page. I want to connect to an Excel file. So let's click on the Microsoft Excel and select a sample superstore. Let's say I need only the order table, so let's double click on the order table. Our data source is ready. Let's create a new worksheet and name it question one. I want to change the data source name because I cannot see the table name here. In this data source, we have only the order table. So let's right click on the data source name and select rename. I just want to add the orders to the beginning. So it becomes orders sample superstore. Now my data source name is crystal clear. In this data source, I have only the orders table from the sample superstore Excel file. Let's say we solve the first question and we need to create another data source for the second question. Let's click on the Tableau icon on the left corner. I want to connect to the same Excel file, but let's say we need to create a left join this time. So click on the Excel file option and select a sample superstore file again. Let's double click on the orders and returns table. 
Tableau automatically creates an inner join, but let's say we want to create a left join. So let's click on these Venn diagrams and change the join type to a left join. As you know already, the order of tables affects the result if you are using the left or right join. So in this data source, I have the orders table on the left and the return tables on the right and I'm using a left join. Let's create a new worksheet and rename it to question two. I want to rename the data source again. So right click on the data source and select rename. Let's type orders plus left plus returns and uh, click OK. Now I can see what is behind these data sources. I can see the tables and the join type if there is a join. So if I have a question that I need to use a data source that I already created, I will just create a new sheet and select the correct data source. So I don't need to create a new data source from scratch. Some of you may think that renaming a data source is not necessary, but trust me, you will save so much time thanks to clear data source names because you will be able to switch between data sources super quick. Now let's continue with tip number four. Name your worksheets wisely and always work on a copy. Whenever you create a new worksheet, it is better to name it as the question number. So I suggest making like Q1, Q2, Q3 and so on. It takes only two seconds to rename a worksheet. Imagine that you are done with the questions and you want to check your solutions one more time. If you have clear worksheet names, you won't waste your time to find the solution for the question that you're looking for, right? You can quickly jump between solutions and save your time. Another important thing is working on a copy. Once you want to change something in a view, it is better to duplicate it. So right click on the view and select duplicate. I think working on a copy is always a better idea. Let's continue with tip number five. Save your workbook and start a new one if it is necessary. This tip is especially useful for the Certified Associate exam because in the Certified Associate exam you will have 18 hands-on questions while you will have only 8 hands-on questions in the Desktop Specialist exam. When you add more and more worksheets to your workbook, Tableau can become slower and slower, so it can be a good idea to save your workbook once you solve half of the hands-on questions. You don't need to do this for the desktop specialist exam because there are only eight hands-on questions. But for the certified associate exam, you may consider saving your workbook once you solve the half of the questions. Let's continue with tip number six. Check our other videos. There are separate videos for Tableau Desktop Specialist and Tableau Certified Associate exams. You can watch those videos to learn about your exams. You can learn about facts, question formats, registration process, rules, exam environment, question distribution, and many more. Thank you so much for watching my video. You can subscribe to my channel if you find it useful and you can leave a comment if you have any suggestion or question. In any case, I cross my fingers for you and good luck with your exam. Cheers.